Israel lies about being a victim so that it can victimize. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. The Washington Post reports that in recent days, the Biden administration has quietly signed off on sending Israel billions of dollars worth of fighter jets and the 2,000-pound bombs that have been causing so much death and destruction in Gaza, even as Israel prepares to launch a bloody assault on the Strip's densely populated southernmost point. Literally just completely ignore every single thing U.S. officials say about the need to protect civilians and how Biden's feelings are privately frustrated with Netanyahu. Just ignore their entire narrative about what their goals are in Gaza. Their actions make it clear. Protesters from Palestine Action have forced Israel-based arms dealer Elbit Systems to permanently close one of its factories in the UK as demonstrators have made it too difficult for the factory to operate. We'll never vote the empire away, but we might someday be able to direct action it away. Video footage has surfaced of IDF troops murdering two unarmed Palestinians in cold blood and then burying their bodies with bulldozers to conceal their crime. This is surely not anywhere close to the first time such a thing has happened in Gaza, and is yet another sign that the death toll from this onslaught is probably a massive undercount. Israel's assault on Gaza features heavy, earth-moving equipment more extensively than any other military operation anyone's ever seen. One reason is because it's a great way to destroy Palestinian homes. Another reason is because it's a great way to hide dead Palestinian bodies. An IDF commander has told Israeli media that on October 7th, he made the decision to fire on vehicles he knew could have Israelis in them because, quote, it's better to stop the abduction and that they not be taken adding more weight to the mountain of evidence that Israeli troops fired on Israelis on October 7th to prevent them from being taken hostage. Israeli bombs and blockades have been picking off the remaining hostages ever since, with Israel now estimating that only 60 to 70 of the 134 hostages are still alive. Whenever you run into an Israel apologist who is defending against criticisms of Israel's actions in Gaza by saying Hamas just needs to release the hostages and this all ends, maybe go ahead and remind them of this. ADL chief Jonathan Greenblatt just went on MSNBC's Morning Joe and compared wearing a Palestinian keffiyeh to wearing a Nazi armband. The mass media keep having this lunatic on as an expert analyst, and he keeps saying the most batshit insane things imaginable. Any screaming schizophrenic off the street would be just as qualified as Greenblatt. A former ranking IDF officer has told Haaretz that Israel is conducting a war of cruel rich people, which is causing many times more destruction than necessary to accomplish its stated objectives against Hamas. In principle, it would be possible to arrive at similar achievements with 10% of the destruction we have caused, the unnamed source told Haaretz. 10%. Israel is causing 10 times more damage than it needs to to achieve its stated objectives, because its stated objectives are false. Israel's real goal is not to defeat Hamas. It's to grab a bunch of land from a Palestinian territory. Of all the pants-on-head, idiotic things Israel and its apologists ask us to believe, the UN just hates Israel for no good reason so all its claims should be dismissed is definitely among the dumbest. Israel apologists constantly claiming the UN is anti-Semitic and treats Israel unfairly remind you of a boy who never does any homework and keeps saying his bad grades are because his teacher hates him. The UN talks about Israel a lot because Israel is a murderous criminal regime. If you still have any doubt that we live in a profoundly sick dystopia as deranged as anything that's ever been imagined in fiction... Take note of the fact that the most powerful empire in history is currently trying to propagandize you into thinking an obvious genocide is fine. They lied about decapitated babies so that they could kill babies. They lied about rape so that they could rape. They lied about Hamas using civilians as human shields 
so that they could use civilians as human targets. They lie about being victims so that they can victimize. <laughs>